Hi everyone, today's headlines. Nagaland and Meghalaya go to polls today. Nada chairs meeting with BJP general secretaries. Meghalaya polling officer dies in accident. India's first national assessment regulator to bring uniformity across school boards. One dead and 12 injured in Voka bus accident. News in details. Nagaland and Meghalaya go to polls today. More than 34 lakh electors will choose their new representative from among 552 candidates in Nagaland and Meghalaya as both states go to polls today. A total of 13,17,632 electors including 6,61,489 male voters, 6,56,143 female voters, and 7,982 service voters, and over 30,000 first-time voters are eligible to cast their vote in Nagaland. 183 including 4 female candidates from 12 political parties and independent are in fray for the 59 Nagaland Assembly seat. In 2018 general election, the state recorded 85.62% voter turnout. Nada chairs meeting with BJP General Secretaries. BJP President JP Nada is chairing a meeting with General Secretaries at party headquarters in Delhi. General Secretaries Arun Singh, Dushyant Kumar Gautam, D. Purandeshwari, C. T. Ravi, Tarun Chak, Dilip Saikya, Vinod Taidu, Sunil Banshal, along with National General Secretary B. L. Sandosh were present in the meeting. According to party sources, there will be a presentation about the position of BJP in Tribura where election have been held. Apart from this, the prospect of BJP will also be discussed in Nagaland and Meghalaya where voting is on February 27. The leaders will also discuss G20. India is presiding over the G20 this year. Prime Minister Narendra Modi had instructed the party to ensure maximum participation of common people in the G20 program, so the BJP is trying to increase the participation of more and more people in the events to promote the display India's art and culture. Meghalaya polling officer dies in accident. A polling officer died in Meghalaya's West Garo Hills district when the vehicle in which he was traveling overturned. The chief electoral officer, FR, Kargongar said on Sunday. According to the CEO, the vehicle carrying polling officials en route to Jangrapara LP school met with an accident at a remote village in West Garo Hills district on Saturday night. The other officials and security personnel reported minor injuries and were taken to Tikrikilev Community Health Center from where Kesham C.H. Marak and his colleagues were referred to a hospital in Golpara. Kesham, the second polling officer who who suffered head injuries were later taken to Guwahati where he was declared brought dead at the hospital, the CEO said. India's first national assessment regulator to bring uniformity across school boards. India's first national assessment regulator Parak will bring the much needed uniformity in assessment by more than 60 boards in the country, educational testing service, CEO Amit Sevak has said. ETS who conduct key tests such as TOE, FL, and GRE has been chosen by the National Council for Education Research for setting up the regulatory platform. The performance assessment review and analysis of knowledge for holistic development will work on setting norms, standards, and guidelines for the student assessment and evaluation for all recognized school boards in the country. One dead and 12 injured in VOCA bus accident. One person died and several others were injured when a bus carrying security and polling personnel met with an accident in Voka district on Sunday. The bus was on its way to Sungro village under 39 Sunnis AC on election duty when it met with the accident near Thilong Bridge, Doyang. A statement from the office of the Deputy Commissioner of Voka and District Election Officer said. It went on to state that the cause of the accident was suspected to be mechanical failure. The driver of the bus was reported to be dead, while 12 persons were grievously injured. That's all for now. To get this, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.